of the septic systems are less than five years old. So there's no immediate need for sewering Stewart's Creek. It can be postponed. Um, from the DPW, it seems clear that the only reason that this project is going forward at this time is to get a $640,000 subsidy on an $8 million loan. The trouble is we still have to pay back that $8 million loan, and the town has no way of paying it back. We have falling revenues. We have rising taxes. And we have lost our AAA rating. I'd like to respond in two areas, although the request was for a general discussion by you. One is the town has not lost its AAA bond rating. The town has a AAA bond rating. The second is, is that the mandate from your, from to uh, the Comprehensive Financial Advisory Committee uh, was to report back in a very timely fashion. I think there's some confusion about the fact that there are two committees. The Citizens Advisory Committee that is responsible for the overall planning uh, of sewer is intending to spend 18 months. The expectation is that the Comprehensive Financial Advisory Committee uh, very shortly will have a, at least an initial report uh, for your consideration. Sawyer with Brown, Linquist, Fenucho, and Neighbor Architects. Um, a lot of the points have been touched on the uh, design, but I'll touch on a couple of points that weren't mentioned. Um, you'll notice that much of the design is, as had been mentioned before, uh, clustered on the southerly portion of the site, which is on the right-hand side as it's oriented on the screen. And um, that was due to uh, many factors that were um, uh, presented to us by the site. Uh, as mentioned before, there's uh, lots of wetlands on the northern portion. Uh, one wetland actually almost completely bisects the site uh, through the narrow portion of the site, um, as well as a lot of topo that uh, undulates through the site, which makes construction more costly, more difficult. And um, so we found the most suitable construction sites on the southerly portion of the site, and that also happened to be the furthest away from any critical areas uh, of uh, wetlands and setbacks. You'll notice the red lines and the yellow lines indicate 50-foot uh, setbacks for the red. Alley around. Uh, there are concerns about this project. Um, I had a lot of dis discussions with a number of the neighbors about those. I've been uh, privy to uh, a number of the housing committee meetings where the issues have been addressed, uh, in my opinion, uh, carefully, thoughtfully. Um, and I've explained to the neighbors that, listen, uh, nobody wants a 40B multi-unit rental apartment complex in the neighborhood, no matter where it is. Just it's the NIMBY factor, okay, and it's a way of life, and it's true. Um, I'm here to tell you that uh, after three or four, four years of <clears throat> working on two multi-unit uh, uh, rental apartment complexes in West Barnstable, both of which just got finished and occupied uh, last year, one is the 28-unit uh, complex that's by, behind the Y, and the other is the 12-unit uh, uh, complex in the uh, Lombard Farm. They're beautiful complexes, and I will tell you they're a tremendous addition to our community. Um, and I am proud to say that we have contributed in our little village 40 units to uh, a very worthy cause. If I could on the septic, I guess I need a clarification. Um, because it's in the zone that's been designated by the Board of Health, we're only allowing three bedrooms uh, per acre. If it was two acre zoning, you'd have six units per two acre lot, and we have six acres, a little more than six acres, so we really would only be allowed 18 bedrooms to begin with. Am I correct on that? Uh, so the President, uh, no, just to clarify, the, the, under the Estuaries project, the Board of Health rule is one bedroom per 10,000 square feet. And so under that calculation with the 6.9 acres, you could have um, 30 bedrooms. And uh, what's being proposed is 18. If you do it on the raw land, supposing all the land was available to be built on, but uh, well, they also well, eliminate upland. Well, there are two ways. The regulation does not actually eliminate upland, but we did calculate it that way to be more conservative. And if you took just the upland portion, mm -hmm. you could still have 23 bedrooms under that 440 rule. Okay. Thank you for that clarification. On the debt, could I get a clarification on the debt from the Housing Authority from Sandy, please?